Good morning. Yeah, today I'm on Cowan Track in Lerderderg, not too far from O'Brien's Crossing, really, and I'm going to head, I think it's roughly two and a half kilometres down this track, and then uh, there's an interesting ridge and spur that I want to have a bit of a look at. It looks like there's an old mine shaft on it. Got a fairly big, uh, I guess, waste rock pile on top of it. But, yeah, I'll, I want to have a look because it's something that oh, it sticks. It's like a pimple on an elephant's back, really. That's what it kind of looks like. So, just going to wander down here for a little bit and then uh, make a right-hand turn. I've said it before and I'll say it again. That's why you don't camp under gum trees. Here you are thinking, oh, they're giving me some nice shade and whatever and storm comes through. Nothing may happen in the storm, but the end of it, you got that sitting in your tent. And there's a culprit up there. Well, this little spot here is my turn off. I'm going out in that way. It's uh, along a spur. And Cowan's keeps going down there. So off I go. From the map that I was looking at, pretty much said that this mine shaft, I guess it's a shaft, that's what it looks like, is only about 400 metres down here. So not too far hopefully it's not too thick because I don't want to get soaked by uh, bashing through this crap for hours only took me roughly 40 minutes to get here so it wasn't wasn't too bad a couple of hills but you expect that Cowan tracks a rather relentless sort of a hill walking up that especially from the river now I'm kind of trying to figure out why they would have made a shaft right on top of this I guess they were chasing a reef and there are workings down the bottom uh, near the east walk now this will be interesting to see if there's anything else here the map says there isn't but yeah, I don't know. You know, they would have had to get got machinery or, or got supplies down there somehow, and this would have been the way. I kind of think that's partly an old road, but it doesn't doesn't show up on the LiDAR, which unfortunately at the moment isn't working for me because it says I'm not subscribed, which is a load of bull. And I'll fix that later. As long as I stay up on the on the pointy bit on the spur I'm right just don't go over the edge I'm keeping my eye out for any other workings down here but the laser said it was pretty flat so there was really nothing nothing else to think there's anything else up here except for that one one hole they dug But there could be anything there because, as I've said before, the, the LiDAR doesn't show, show up rocks. It only shows up uh, compacted dirt, really. Well, it shows, a, shows up a, um, a big boulder, but it doesn't show up stacked rock anywhere. It's gotten a bit chilly, but... The scrub's not too bad down here. Every now and then I think I see a, a remnant of a trail. Oh, 
Oh no, just come over the edge there. A lot of trees with no bark on, almost looks like something's been scratching at it. Cockatoos maybe. After the bugs under under the under the bark perhaps. And I think I've found what I'm looking for. Doesn't look like there's anything else around here, so this is going to be a pretty quick video, but there's a little heap. I guess they call it mullock heap. I just call it waste rock. There's a heap right there. So I'll put a... I'll, I'll put a... Oh, that's a shaft. I'll put a picture up of what it looks like on LiDAR, and the reason I can't find it is because I've got no service which is interesting because usually I have around here but I'm just going to have a little bit of a there's no other it doesn't look like there's any other infrastructure that's even been around they might have come up from the bottom uh, it looks like something might be over there which I'll go and have a look at but also could be uh, natural natural uh, rock face maybe Goodness, <laughs> I'm not going near that thing. That's massive. Holy cow. Oh, it just goes down to there, which that's all right saying it just goes down to there, but if you go down there, you ain't getting out. Looks like there's some old timber down in the bottom. Over on that uh, top corner there. And it could be that they tunneled in. No, I don't think so. I think they might have tunneled in there maybe. But it could also it's a it's a darn big shaft to um not chucking nothing down it. It's a lot of quartz on the ground here outside of it. Pretty solid tree. I'm good. I'm happy with that. Oops, wrong way. <laughs> nothing there. Yeah, solid tree. Yeah, it's well. That's what's on the map. It's the pimple. All this, uh, this mound of rock here. And there's nothing else anywhere that says they did anything else. Except down that uh, down that spur uh, that way, you get down to the river and there, there's mining there near the east wall. But I'm not even going to bother doing that because I've seen that before. And uh, this is what I wanted to have a look at. But yeah, interesting. Could be plugged there. You never know. This might go all the way to the bottom. They might have. Uh, this might have been a haulage, but I doubt it because there's nothing. There's nothing up here that shows that there's been any other infrastructure other than this old uh, this old shaft that's been dug down. And it's massive. What would it be? Um, three by three maybe maybe four by four meters wide and see the quartz in the wall there there's one 
I guess about four foot from the top and another one further down. I'm guessing that there's a lot of quartz around here. I guess they were chasing that, but yeah, I wonder why. I wonder why this one thing. They wouldn't have just dug here for no reason. They weren't stupid in the old days. They knew what they were doing. Oh dear. Now get down here without breaking my friggin' neck. Behold, a stacked rock wall. <laughs> yeah. Quartz all over the joint. And then that one shaft. And then I'll just walk around it and see what I find. Yeah, no sign of anything else. Except just there. <clears throat> what is that? Well, there's a spur down there. I'd say they came up from the river up to here. Well, what made them dig here? Maybe they saw an outcropping of, of quartz. Could have been what they saw. Maybe they were using this as their way out instead of going down. Uh, if you use it here, you've probably got a kilometre less travel. But we've got this little little gap there which you can actually see on the photo on lidar so whether or not it whether or not it goes down any further the lidar says it doesn't sorry when i say go down any further uh straight down straight down to the level of the workings near the river is what i mean because there's definitely no other no other um, dig outs on the side of the hills from what I could see and I'll show you the difference between the two of them that you can you can tell what it is may I might put them in the might whack them in the pictures at the end I think I'm gonna get a wet bum it's starting to rain over there and the winds blowing in this direction oh, but there it is Oh, that's a win and what I thought might have been diggings is a well I'm gonna go and have a look bit of a game trail here bit of a little animal track if they're there use them no nah, it's just a, just a rocky outcrop well that's it for me we're heading back up that way now and yeah a short one but a good one oh if uh yeah if my ankle was uh 100 i'd probably go down that spur to the river i'll do that another day still a little bit a little bit tender good enough to do this rubbish this isn't too hard it's not even an eight degree slope down here yeah fantastic another piece of 1800s gold mining history in Lerderdurg State Forest I'm back on the track I've got about two and a half k's back to the car 
it's still early in the morning or mid morning now it's probably nine o'clock and uh, I found what I was looking for a bit disappointed there wasn't anything else around I was hoping for some more rock walls and maybe a little rock hut that they might have built because they they don't show up on the lidar so but that was a big shaft oh I have to try and do some investigation on it online but there's just nothing about this area that's why I'm out here and possibly I'm the only one to see that in over 100 years there's no reason for anyone to go down there unless they want to well, I guess they do what I want to do and just go down the spur to see what's there but anyway it's uh, drizzling sun's out a little bit and uh, it's quite good actually it's uh it's that rain that you go nah it's no good but by the time you it's okay but by the time you get back to the car you're totally drenched anyway hope you enjoyed it saw a little bit more of the hidden history of the place bit of a few questions on that one and i think it might be tied to the stuff down on the river and uh yeah that's it for me so uh, thanks for watching and I'll uh, see you later. Take care of yourself and hooroo.